Oh, I'm so sorry. I went to go start working on the rant for this game, but it seems that I passed out due to how bad and boring Battlefield 2042 is. So guess what? You all get to suffer along with me now. <coughs> Welcome everyone to Adrian's Corner. I'm Mr. K and my rant of Battlefield 2042 starts now. Battlefield 2042, man, what to even say about you? My sweet, sweet summer child. Ultimately, your mechanics are good. And what do I mean by this is, the weapons for the most part are consistent in how they shoot and how well they handle. They feel accurate and it is satisfying pulling the trigger, etc. Then there is the movement, which minus the horrible vehicles with their god uh, I meant the vehicles. Yes. Not so good. And let's see, um, what else? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, yes, the environment. That was nice too, right? Yes, yes, that was good. And well, that was about it. Nothing else in this game was fun. Okay, where was I? Oh, yeah, the game. It sucked. Battlefield 2042 is one of the worst games reviewed in Steam history. EA and DICE's large-scale FPS has racked up over 81,000 negative reviews on Valve's digital storefront out of its 116,000 reviews, which is almost 50,000 higher since the two-week mark after its launch. Now, Aside from the rough start, Battlefield 2042 has had a rash of players complaining about the broken vehicles, the bad hitboxes, the shoddy PC performances, the issues with bullet registration and accuracy, a massive amount of missing features, and much more. And as a result, the game is getting review bombed by tens of thousands of angry players. And not so surprising, my experience wasn't much better. Although, I will add that I didn't come across any bugs in my playthrough of the game. So to be fair, that at least is something I can't complain about. So anyway, um, where was I? Uh, oh, yeah. Unfortunately, there is still no stats page in this game for some reason. You want to know how you compare? Too bad! Instead, the game goes, hey, no need to see the stats. <laughs> Better than someone else? Psh, we're all equal here. No one's better than anyone else. And then, want to browse for a server you want to play on? Nope, not for you, sucker. Only Big Daddy EA gets to choose what server you get to play on. And let us not forget the giant laundry list of missing content and or features from the game. Like, who thought it was a good idea to take so many features away from this game? It is amazing that they had the guts to put this game out as is, to say the least. For example, core features. Say, like, single player experience? Want some alone time with EA? Nope, none for you. Want lots of standardized game mods to ease your boredom? Not on Big Daddy EA's watch. Want lots of variation in game apps? Nope, not happening. Want to hang out after the game in a persistent lobby to make fun of the people you curve stomped in the match? No way, Jose. You might actually enjoy that, and that is definitely not allowed here in the land of EA's rolling dice. Oh. And have I mentioned the wonderful world of loading screens that EA has so graciously provided us little gamers with? No? Well, guess what? EA has made the road to matchmaking a fun, <coughs> I mean, arduous journey for what felt like an endless parade of cutscenes and loading screens. For example, Redditor user Len underscore for art highlighted this ridiculous nonsense as you see here. Another thing that stood out to me was the lack of players during the matches. Frankly, with how big the maps are, I figured that they would have had at least 80 to 100 players on each team to make it a real war type of experience. But instead, you get stuck with a max of 64 players per team, which would have been fine if, if there was some type of voice chat. But no, instead, there is no voice chat in this game whatsoever, making it next to impossible to communicate with your teammates. But hey, at least I got to crank up my favorite EDM and take swigs of caffeine to keep me awake for the goddamn I mean, it could use some improvements, I guess. And on the subject of possibly fixing what some minor complaints I had here, remember how at the beginning, 
I might have mentioned vehicles and the problems they might have had? Well, guess what? They are terrible in this game. You want to move smoothly in the world of Battlefield 2042 and a sweet, sexy helicopter? Nope! Feast your eyes on my magical experience of trying to navigate the horrible disaster they call vehicles. I mean, I literally had to pull up the menu and try to figure out how on EA's green earth I was supposed to drive this thing. Seriously, why would you make controlling vehicles so different than navigating your character? Now, to give you an idea of how bad this game is, even the cheat creators don't want to keep making them for this game due to the fact that even some cheats don't work properly on this game. They can't even get the cheats right. Like, come on, EA. Speaking of not getting things right, even Steam seems to recognize what a stinker they have on their hands. And as we can see here from Screen Rants, there's a way to get a refund even if you're past the normal two hour mark. And I can't say that I'm really surprised here. The user base has dropped from 104,000 users to under 10,000 in just two months since launch. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> so look, this game has a few um, bright spots, um, I guess. Yes, bright spots. But frankly, there isn't enough to warrant buying or hell even playing this game. The game is a dumpster fire from hell. So please, oh please. Do not download this game if you want to hold on to any of your sanity. It's just not worth it. I mean, I, your loyal ranter, Mr. K, who braved this game for your viewing pleasure, had the trouble of staying awake while playing this game. I literally had to prop my eyelids open with toothpicks and down gallons of Red Bulls just to make it to the end of my playtime there. So take the advice from your friendly neighborhood, Mr. K, and do not play this game. Trust me, you will thank me later. And that, my friends, brings this episode to a close. And as always, thank you so much for joining me today from Adrian's Corner. I'm Mr. K, and I'll see you all next time.